Have you ever wondered how to identify and trade the explosive bull flag chart pattern with precision and confidence? What if you could unlock the secrets to mastering this powerful setup, allowing you to ride the momentum of trending stocks like AMD, Meta, Elf, Uber, and Toll for incredible gains? In this video, we'll dive deep into the world of bull flag mastery, revealing the key strategies and techniques that can help you unleash explosive profits in your swing trading journey. Today, we'll discuss how to identify and properly trade the bull flag chart pattern on the weekly chart time frame. This powerful setup has the potential to deliver incredible returns when executed correctly. And I'll share these essential insights you need to know to make most of these opportunities. I'm Rick Petticelli, head stock analyst at Morpheus Trading Group, and I've been mastering the art of swing trading for over 20 years. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with the latest swing trading strategies and insights from the expert team at MTG. Be sure to stick around to the end of this video as I'll share with you a tip I use to locate some of the more promising flag patterns. All right, so let's get right to it. So first off, what is a bull flag? Bull flag is a strong move up, could be on the hourly, any time frame really, daily, weekly, monthly, hourly. So we're looking for a move up and then some sideways action. Usually there's a drift lower, a pause, and then another move out. The key in these bull flags for us is that the pullback after the first thrust up, this pullback here should not retrace more than 38% of this move up. You know, and 38 would be almost too wide. We're looking for, you know, 23 to 30%, 33%. We really don't want to go down to 37, 38, but that's the max. And so the benefit of lo looking for these sort of patterns is that on the weekly chart, it's a bigger time frame pattern and we're not looking to catch the first move off the low. So, you know, the 10 and 40 week moving averages on the weekly should be pointing up or the 50 on the 200 on the daily. So, we're looking for a stock that's showing bullish momentum or has shown bullish momentum already and it's going sideways and we're monitoring this pattern for the breakout. And this video is going to be about spotting the pattern rather than identifying the entry point. You know, what setups are showing the best momentum on the weekly chart that are tight, that are pausing in a tight range, ready to explode up once again. The momentum's already there and uh, we're just looking to capitalize on the next move out. So our definition of the bull flag for this video is going to be anything that uh, any move out that's explosive that leads to a tight pause that retraces 38% le or less of the last wave up. We measure the last wave up from the lows to the first pause of 17 days or more. There has to be a 17 day pause in this bull flag example. Now for crypto, it might be more of a two to three week pause than three to five weeks, what we're looking for here. Everything in crypto is just sped up. So, you know, you might not get the three to five weeks. It might just be two to three. So with AMD, we have this explosive move up. You see these, these strong thrusts, uh, powerful thrusts on the weekly chart. These bars are bigger than normal. There's big volume behind it. So it's a strong thrust up. There's a pause on declining volume. The 10 week MA is above the 40 week MA. Both are in an uptrend and the price bounces off the 10 week MA and the 23.6% retracement level and pushes higher. That's what we're looking for. This was a nice pause too, but only a week long. Really, if we were to go to the daily chart, maybe 10 days in length. So it doesn't qualify as a bull flag in this example, but probably something that could be traded. Certainly explosive price action, a short-term pause, and then a move back up. So our second chart is meta, and this is more off the lows. This is a downtrend line break after the first thrust off the lows and then a move up. So we're not catching the first pause after that strong thrust up. There's another move up, a very powerful move up here. And then tight price action once again with the price holding above the 38, dip below the 23.6 level, and then moved out after a few weeks. Now you see the 40 week MA is just starting to turn up when it breaks out, but the 10 week moving average, which is like the 50 has been in an uptrend for several weeks already. So that's fine. We're just trying to avoid a situation where there's a bull flag forming below the declining 40 week MA. We want it to be above the, the 40 week. Next up is ELF and we have this base. Then we have an explosive move up. And the price action tightens up quite a bit in here, but never really settles down as we don't have 17 days in a row of, of the price not taking out the high of the first week. So right around this area, we do have our 17 day pause and the price breaks out, falls through. Note that the price action held above the 23.6% correction and held the 10 week moving average and then pushed higher. Exactly what we wanna see. Next up is Uber. We have a stock that's already in a strong uptrend. 
broke out above a base at 38, had another base here at 49.50 area, and then it breaks out from that base in strong price and volume action, pauses for three weeks, more than 17 days, and then breaks out again. The pause was just a little bit more than 23%, well above the 38, held the rising 10-week moving average, and then moved out. And the last chart here is of TOL. And actually, there's a few here we're going to do. So we have that first thrust off the lows here, pretty powerful move up. And then we get this tight action, which goes on for more than a few weeks. It's maybe two months here, which is a little bit longer than normal, but still bullish action. The retracement is still well above the 38% level. Price actually held on to the 10-week moving average pretty nicely here. Might have closed below the average for a week or two, but you know recovered right away and then broke out. And then there was another bull flag here. Strong price action again, sideways here. Did close below the 10-week MA, but recovered and stalled and then rolled over. But you know, as with any setup, they're not all going to work. But I'd like to point out too that the S&P, this is when the S&P, the market rolled over. And so if the market's rolling over, there's small chance that you know, we're going to have toll breaking out from a bull flag and ripping higher. But the price action does recover with the market and moves higher once again. And there is a, another bull flag that forms in this area right here. So we have the strong thrust up. We have the pause more than a few weeks here, but still worth monitoring. Holds above the 10-week MA, above the 23.6 level, and breaks out again. So one quick tip on locating these bull flags is I think some of the best ones are the ones that occur after the first or second breakout from a base. The earlier you can find them in the uptrend, the better. As the later on in the rally it is, the, the more obvious the bull flag is to everyone, the more eyes are on it, becomes a tougher trade. All right, so just to recap, we're looking for bull flag patterns here. We're looking for stocks that have already established a ton of momentum. Uh, we're looking for a strong thrust up. We're looking for a few weeks of sideways action, anywhere from three to five weeks, sometimes a little bit longer, could turn into a little bit more of a base type of action. But we're looking for the price to stay above the 38%. FIBO level. Oftentimes it'll be around the 23.6 with the 10 week uh, moving average providing support. And then we're looking for the price action to resume its uptrend and break out. As we mentioned earlier through the video, we want to see at least 17 days sideways in this pattern where the price doesn't violate the highs of the base or the highs of the flag for 17 sessions. Now you'll have to use some discretion there. If there is a slight tick above, maybe five cents above, I might ignore that. But if you're seeing you know, a push through one, 2% above the prior high, that would start the count all over again for 17 days. Well, that's a wrap for this video. Thanks for watching. If you found these insights helpful, please show your support by hitting that like button and subscribing to our channel. For more in-depth analysis and to get our top swing trade setups with the exact entry and exit points, visit MorpheusTrading.com and click on Stock Picks. Also, stick around to see some of the other videos we've made here that could help you take your trading to the next level. And if you have any specific topics you'd like us to cover, please let us know in the comments section. Thanks for joining us. Remember to trade what you see, not what you think.